What's going on everybody? Today in this video I'm going to explain to you how you can sell your vintage silver quickly and easily and how I've been doing it over the last few weeks and what I've been doing with it. This one you're not going to want to miss. This one's going to be helpful to everybody. Stay tuned. What's going on everybody? I hope everybody's having a great day. I'm excited to bring this video to you. What if I told you you could package up your vintage silver, your vintage gold, ship it off, have it x-rayed, have beautiful pictures taken of it on a website with lots of traffic, get good money out of it and not pay any fees? Well, that sounds too good to be true, but I've been doing it for a few weeks and immediately I'm going to tell you that I'm not selling you anything and that I'm not affiliated with this website whatsoever. I'm merely doing this video today just to help out the community. You know, if you are into vintage stuff and you are looking to move some stuff, if you're looking to see what stuff is worth, this is going to be a great tool for you. I'm going to run it down, give you my experience. And my experience is not based off selling one or two bars. I've actually sold approximately $40,000 worth of my vintage bars over the last few weeks. Now, I am not getting out of vintage, guys. But if you've been following me for years, you know that I'm vintage heavy, that I've been hunting this stuff down for years, and that I utilize times like this in the market to try to capitalize to add more weight to my stack. And that's what I always preach about purchasing deals and sitting on stuff that have premiums built in so when the market's low you can move some stuff you can grab that capital that liquid fund and you can go back in and add weight to your stack which i was very happy to do last week because of all the stuff that i've sold uh, last week i was able to lock in a thousand ounces of silver shot for 18.40 an ounce and i'm super excited about that and i don't want to get off on that tangent i want to tell you about this website now how was i able to do it where did i do it well guys it's super super simple and i was able to do it because of a gentleman out there by the name of rob sultan now rob sultan is on all different types of social media platforms he makes youtube videos and the like however he is 100 percent owner of an auction house and that auction house is called mineralexchange.com and that's where i've been able to sell all these bars over the last few weeks. Now, I did state that there's no fees for the seller, and that is 100% true. I just wanted to put that out there right away. I'm going to tell you exactly the rundown in my experience and how it works. So it is an auction house. It's an auction house that he has started, and he's trying to improve on different areas that you know make it a little bit different than ebay and places like that or trying to sell your pieces on social media again we'll get back into he does all the legwork and all the things takes the pictures ships them out collects the payments all that stuff so exactly how does it work well it's an auction. The auctions all start off at $1 with no reserve. They start every single Monday. Sometimes he'll add stuff on Tuesday, but they start on Monday and they end on Sunday. And the price that you see that the piece ends for on Sunday evening is exactly what you get paid. So there are no fees once again for the seller. And then you will collect your payment by check via secured email on that following Friday. Once all the funds come in, he collects everything, everything clears, it's all good to go. And he has been uh, going, or he is going to be adding ACH, so you won't even have to really deal with checks in the future, but right now that is how it works. Now, that sounds great if you're a seller, and it's also good if you're a buyer because he has a lot of very rare stuff on there that you don't tend to see on other places, or it's very hard to find. So if you are a collector and you're wanting to bid on stuff, if you want to get your hands on some of these bars, this is a good place to go to since it is focused on vintage and vintage only at this time. So it brings a lot of eyeballs, a lot of people, a lot of bigger people, a lot of bigger sellers, a lot of bigger purchasers, and the way that he's able to run this, he does charge a 10% fee if you are a buyer. Now, of course, they all start out at $1 with no reserve. So you can factor that into your bidding, which is no big deal. And again, he does. He x-rays everything. He takes the pictures. He sells everything, ships it all off for you, collects all the stuff. And that's how he's able to do it. He runs it on 10%. Now, I have auction houses that are close to me. If you're not familiar with auction houses in the fee, 
fees. I have a, a rather large one that's by me and they charge the seller 20% and the purchaser 10%. You know, some of those places uh, rake you over the coals as far as fees. Now, so it's, it's a pretty cool streamlined website. Again, he takes wonderful pictures. There's no filters. There's no doctoring of photos. Everything's x-rayed. You know what you're going to get. Now, what have I been able to get? Am I Have I been happy with the prices? I've been more than happy with the prices I've gotten out of my pieces. Even with the, the purchaser figuring in the 10%, a lot of my pieces have gone well above prices that I've seen on eBay, Instagram, Facebook, what have you. So I've been very, very happy. Over the first couple weeks, initially I sold about 454 ounces. I got about $57 an ounce out of it. I was more than happy. I've sold a bunch since then. I'm still over $50 an ounce. Mind you, I've sold some very rare stuff, some small pieces that have gone over $1,000. But you, anybody can check on his website. And now that gets me into the third phase, whether if you're not a purchaser and you're not a seller, say you're just a stacker and you're a collector and you're not looking to sell any vintage, it is a great tool. Now, what do I mean by a great tool? Well, he has a history tab, a history tab that will be up indefinitely. So you can go over to the website and sign up with an email. You can go up to the right and click on his history tab and you can literally see what everything is sold for and he's going to keep it up there. You know, when you're looking, trying to figure out values on these old bars, guys, you go on eBay, you search, they only keep it up for so long. Some of these uh, pieces are very rare. It's hard to actually find true value on them. Um, and, you know, so his website's going to be a great tool for that. You don't have to go to places like Worth Point and pay monthly fees. You know, eventually he's going to have thousands and thousands of rare vintage pieces that have gone through his auction site with all the prices right there for you to check out guys doesn't cost you a penny to go in there to check it out you just sign up now if you want to sign up to bid on stuff or to purchase things he does ask everybody to sign up and verify their account and you verify that by a one dollar fee a one dollar one time fee now i have talked to him on the phone about this and asked him why do you do this and he wants to make sure that everybody that uses his auction site as a purchaser is a real person he doesn't want any shenanigans going on he doesn't want any shill bidding he doesn't want anybody going on there trying to mess around and bid things up and not be real buyers he wants everybody to be verified and i feel like you know that's a pretty good way to do it um as far as the auctions themselves i did state that they end on sunday evenings how is he trying to be different compared to ebay well he has a soft close initially has a soft close what does that mean when the auctions go to end if anybody bids within the last one minute it will add five minutes to the auction which i thought's pretty cool we've all been sniped off of ebay we've all been ticked off going after that really cool piece somebody came in and, and wiped you out and got you in the last second well he does have a soft close however it's only a one-time soft close so it's not going to sit there and get bumped five minutes over and over again you'll have the one-time soft close if somebody comes in it'll extend it out five minutes and then he has a hard close okay Okay, so that's how the auction site works. I think it's pretty cool. They're all a few minutes apart. They're kind of staggered. You know, um, just just everything that I've experienced so far has been has been good. Uh, my dealings with Rob, my conversations with him have all been good. Um, again, this is a tool that that everybody could use. It's a tool that I will continue to use going into the future. Um, I'm happy to capitalize on those premiums. Again, I'm not getting out of vintage. I'm not telling you to go out and sell all your vintage silver and gold. However, if you've been thinking about it and you've been overwhelmed by the selling process, this is a good avenue for you, okay? Um, you know, capitalize on it if you can, whether you got doubles or whether you just want to move some real rare pieces and try to up that ounce count. It's a good way to do it. Bring that dollar cost average down you, you know the guy you know how it works you know you know what i mean i i if you've been watching my channel if you follow me that's that's how i've been doing it that's how a lot of you guys out there do it and again i'm not affiliated whatsoever just wanted to bring this tool to you guys hopefully it's valuable to you and i appreciate each and every one of you guys for stopping by and we'll check you on the next one